Hi everyone, Diogo Marques here. In today's video, I want to cover a question that you see a lot in YouTube videos, which is sell me this pen. You've seen this a lot and this poses an interesting problem as a salesperson, but this is not a surface level uh, answer. This poses a lot of issues that you need to solve before you can answer the question. And let's cover some of these issues before you can solve the problem. So this is how it works. When you approach someone to sell to sell something, there are five things you need to know before you sell something. And that I've seen all bunch of theories, all bunch of stuff, but you can see right away that these people are not salespeople. Because if they were, they would need to do it for survival reasons. Because if I don't sell, I don't eat. So I need to know this stuff. And I'm sharing this with you because this works. And this is how it works. The first thing, the very first thing you need to realize is if you are presenting uh, your product, whatever the service might be, to the alpha, to the one person that decides. If it's not the person that is making the decision in that day, you are wasting your time because in the end is going to defer to the person that does decide. So you need to figure out right away who is the person, the one that decides so you can be in front of him or her in order to do the presentation. This is the first point. The second point is there must be a pain. This means that if you are presenting something to someone, maybe the alpha even, but there's not an issue there. Let's say like it's an energy utility bill and you're going to lower the utility bill from 50 bucks to 40 bucks, something like that. You're already paying nine, right? You're screwed. He's the alpha person and you're presenting a 40, uh, 40 buck product and he's paying nine. So that's not going to work, right? But if he was paying like 300, now he's going to listen. See what I mean? So this is the second point. There must be a pain there so you can solve the problem. And when you transition from you see the alpha, you see the he has a problem, now you're going to transition into to the actual presentation. And the presentation has three components in it. The first one is you, you as a person. Everyone is evaluating every single person that, in, that he or her encounter for the first time. When you see someone for the first time, you're, you are evaluating that person. Who is this person? Is this person just worthy? Am I suspicious? I look like, uh, does this guy look like a bit sketchy, right? All of us, even you now when you are hearing me and seeing me, you are evaluating this, right? So. You are looking at this person and, and seeing, is this the person that is going to solve my problem, right? Because it's not about you, it's about them, right? This is another thing that you see online. You see all those motivation videos and all that, that's great. But in the end, it's not about you. It's about the other guy. So you have to present things in a way like that the other guy is looking from his or her perspective, not yours. See what I mean? So when he's looking at you, in the back of his mind is saying, can I trust this guy or not? right? So he's going to grade you in that uh, area. It's like, do I trust him? It's a, like a high mark. Do I not trust him? It's a low mark. If it's a low mark, you're screwed because he doesn't, he doesn't trust you, right? But if he does trust you, then he's going to transition to, okay, I trust you now. He's not going to tell you that, but in his mind, in, in his body language, in a, in a way like he's speaking, you will understand it is like transitioning from you now to the product. What is it that you are presenting? And what you are presenting, like I said, must solve a problem. And besides solving a problem, because you could say something like, I can solve your problem with my product, right? But that, it's, that's not enough. It's going to poke around the product to see, like, like a melon. See, like you go like to the supermarket or something to see if the melon has like, uh, like it's rotten pieces. So like poke the thing to see if like the thing is in shape. It's the same thing here in the presentation. Now that it trusts you, so he gave you high marks and as long as you keep your trustworthiness like in place, like you don't screw up your presentation when he asks you questions, you know how to answer, keep looking in the eye and make eye contact, show yourself as a confident person, you're cool. Now it's going to transition to the product and the product is going to do the same thing. It needs to trust the product and he's going to poke it around. So it's like the same thing, you need, he's going to test the thing. And you probably heard this a lot like in presenting a product, it's like building a bulletproof case. And this is what this means. You have to do your homework. When you are presenting your product to someone, 
they are looking at it from a, a point of saying, okay, let's test this thing out to see if the, thing, the dude is actually knows what he's talking about. And when you start asking questions and you like keep answering in a way that you know what you're talking about, you keep building up points in your credibility, but now it's just a product because it's, it's trying to figure out a way of not the thing not working, but you are showing in a trustworthy manner that it can trust because the product does work, right? And then, so he gives you a high mark, so, and he keeps giving you high marks because you are uh, presenting the product well. It's not just you now, it's you and the product. And now he trusts the product, right? So now he trusts you and the product is going to transition to the company. And the company, there are some products that presents a problem. I had pro uh, problems when presenting um, products here in Portugal that people didn't trust the company. So he trusted me, he trusted my presentation, but they didn't trust, they didn't trust the company. In the back of their minds, they were like, what if I, if I go like to this place, the company, no one's gonna answer the phone. And then you start hearing the objections. Like, let me think about it, let me call my mom, my cat, my Martian, my whatever. So you need to build up a, a trustworthy case regarding the company. And that's easier said than done. Because if you, you could say like, your company in the back of a garage makes more revenue than Facebook, right? <laughs> you're lying, right? <laughs> so, but if you're working for a big company, they usually like, you can navigate through it. Like they have a bunch of brick and mortar stores, they have phone call, they have phone numbers for people to call. So this is the thing. Your presentation, you need to figure out a way of building a trustworthy case regarding the product, right? Because you know, you know they are going to test it out and then the company, right? Stuff regarding c the company so that they can they build them trust, right? If the company has like brick and, mortar, brick and mortar stores, they have addresses, like they have people there, you show exactly where they need to go, you are there, you answer the phone, that type of thing, you know? Because in the back of their minds, they're like, okay, I like this dude, I like the product, he's gonna solve my problem, I'm a decision maker, right? All the four points are like, check, 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 check. And then can I trust the company? If they trust the company, you're cool. And then it's just a matter of you having like the, the, the contract in front of them and having them sign, right? So when solving the question regarding the pen, this is how I would do it, right? A person needs to write something, right? So it's like you have a piece of paper, right? Like write something there. He doesn't have a pen, right? So that presents pain. And he's the decision maker because he needs to sign. Right? So this is this pen, it's 10 bucks. This is a, you don't have to say like, oh, this is a pretty pen, forget about that. It's just pain and solving a problem. The dude needs to write something, right? He doesn't have a pen, right? So he's going to exchange money for the pen because he needs to write, right? So he needs to be the alpha, he needs to have a pain point, he needs to trust you, he needs to trust the company, and it needs to trust the product. So if all these five points are like, check, 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 he's going to sign. So I hope this video helps. Remember to subscribe and click that ball button below so you can get notified every time that I make new videos like this. Peace.